Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to run Stalker Gamma on Linux. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to download the required files. Links are in the description. And by the way, these files are files I uploaded, so no worries, they're safe. The next thing is, is you're going to want to make a folder in your Steam library directory. And when you go to title it, make sure you don't have colons or periods in the name of your directory. You just have it as plain text. I recommend using pzip for your file extractions by the way and just to preface this what you see on screen I already extracted the files but I'll tell you what to do so you're going to extract your anomaly folder into your steam games folder and you're going to extract your gamma rc3 folder into your steam games folder however when you go to extract your mods folder when you click extract make the destination where it's going to extract to into the rc3 folder the gamma rc3 folder and then you click OK and then you just wait for everything to do its process. So after that, we're going to add it to our game. So we're going to open up Gamma RC3, and we're going to scroll down to the Mod Organizer Executable. There you go. And you're going to copy the directory. And you're going to go over to your Steam, click Add a Game, Add Non-Steam Game. Then we're going to click Browse, and then we're going to do All Files and Paste in the directory. Should be highlighted right here. Add Selected Programs. Then, if we scroll down, we should see modelorganizer.exe. Just for simplicity's sake, we're just going to name it um, Stalker Gamma. And then we're going to go under compatibility, force the use of compatibility tool, and then we're going to go to 706 Proton. And after that, what you're going to do is you're going to click play and then after a little bit you're going to click stop then we're going to open up proton tricks then it should be there non-sync game shortcut stalker gamma we're going to click ok she's going to click through all the pop-ups that may appear And you should be greeted with this screen. So you're going to select the default line prefix. Then you're going to install a Windows DLL or a component. So once you're on the screen, uh, I'm going to have right now on the screen text displayed of the list of the things you need to select. Select the things on screen. And then once you do that, you're going to select OK. Click through all the pop-ups once again. Once you create this screen, just click cancel and cancel. Then we're going to click play. Should get this pop up right here. Click OK. Then after that, we're just going to click browse. And then we are going to go to where our anomaly directory is. So we're going to click um, sort of. So I have mine stored under a portable hard drive, but where we are going to go is we're going to go to our Z drive here, and then for me, I have it stored in Run Media, and then Portable Hard Drive, and then Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, and then here it is, Gamma, and you're going to select the Anomaly folder and just click Open. Then after that, we should be greeted with this screen. And everything should be loading in. Just give it a minute. Then everything should be loaded. But here is the thing that we need to do. So what we need to do before we launch is change the path of the executables. So we're going to go to this drop down menu, click edit, then select the executable we want. I'm going to do the DX10 AVX. Then we're going to go over here to binary. We're going to click the browse. We're going to go to bin. 
And here we have the list of, list of the executables. We're going to choose the DV, D, the DX10 AVX. And then after that, we're just going to copy the directory here, go to the start in, and then we're just going to erase the part with the executable. And then we're going to click apply. You can exit out. And then, yeah, there you go. It should have an icon. And all I have to do is click run. By the way, you should have 380 active uh, mods if all this was done correctly. Let's just start launching. All right, so here we are. It's open and it's doing a few things first. And here we are. However, there is one more thing we must do in order to guarantee stable performance. So the first thing we are going to want to do is we're going to go to our anomaly folder and then we're going to go to bin to where our executables are located and then delete all the following that is on the screen. If you want a list, you can look at the description below. Um, so let's see, I have D3D, D3D9DLL and DXGIDL. Those are the ones I have, so I'm going to delete them. And then after that, I'm going to go go to the reshader shaders right here, delete that. Then I'm going to go to my anomaly bin right here, go to app data and delete shaders cache. Then we're going to go over the model organizer here, and then we are going to search for uh, screen space shaders we're going to disable it then we're going to look for shaders cumulative should already be disabled but in case it's enabled disable it and then lastly we're going to look up Beegs NVG and then you're going to click it you're going to right click and you're going to click reinstall mod and then you're going to select the things I have selected on screen Beegs NVGs and Beegs NVGs patch only ES and no SSR click OK and then I just click replace and then after that it should all be done and then you should be free to play lastly if you get a bug where the fog doesn't quite work or where the trees and foliage are brown and outlined in the distance then do the following so you're going to go to your anomaly 1.5.1 bin and then you're going to delete the following it's on the screen um, if you want a list, you can go to the description below. There'll be a list we need to delete. And then after that, you're going to go to your mod organizer, and then you're going to disable enhanced shaders by Kenshade, and then disable atmospheric shaders, whether it's in reshade by Hippobot. And then after that, you're going to look up Beast NVG. You're going to right click it. And then you're going to click reinstall mod and then have only beefs and VG selected. If you have uh, the only ES patch, unselect that one. Just make sure beefs and VG is the only one selected and then click OK. And then after that, click replace. And then your game should be ready to play.